Hey guys, um, I'm just doing a final thought review thing on my Overlord. I've had it since the uh, beginning of December now, and it's held up really good, but I haven't really got a chance to use it yet. I might do that here soon. Um, I know you guys are getting tired of seeing my saber, but I just can't get over how cool it is. I think this is uh, one of the best purchases I've done with Ultra Saber so far. Um, to me, I think this hilt is the perfect size for me. I can hold it any way, really. Um, I have a problem with uh, two hand grip. I usually hold it like this, about like that, and then one hand, about, uh, like where the first string is, I usually hold it like that, or I'll just hold it all the way up for the blade holder start. And then you can hold it like this too, like with the Skywalker thing. Um, and again, what really uh, gives the saber a lot of character is the play holder. I think it's pretty cool. The cut out one does. Um, I think the this area of the play holder is a kind of a classic look, I guess you can say. Um, I was going to get a the model, probably the Archon Classic, but I think I'll just stick with the uh, uh, look, because I really like it. It has like a kind of a diamond girl pattern thing. Trying to get close up to you guys. Sorry about that. There you go, about right there. And I got the regular heavy gray plate with my Arctic blue because I thought it would look best and it really does. It's okay in all threads, heavy, but yeah. um, the saber isn't really too heavy or anything. That's why I like it a lot. And it just looks good with the, the black and silver color thing on the help. Even the power attack is pretty cool. It matches with the rest of the silver action on the bottom. Uh, so yeah, I just can't get over how cool and comfortable and just everything on the overlord is. Um, like everyone else has said recently, I think the black tone is just kind of a uh, matte um, metallic gloss kind of tone. It's pretty cool. And then, I think that's kind of funny. You can make like a record scratching sound on the hill. I don't know if it's like that, if it has that weird scratchy feeling on all the hills, but. Um, that's cool. So um, I'll fire the blade up for you guys. And beautiful arctic blue on the overlord. And then that heavy gray blade. And again, I like how this area right here, like on camera and stuff, that kind of plays out. Probably because of the round with the header. I did a full play stop for you guys. There you go. Okay, so I got that stuff. So yeah, um, I really like the 
out of the world. I couldn't get anyone to go for it. And I think it really worked and go on either side or like. I think it makes her pretty good, but I like better to be honest. Make your character, uh, more character, I guess, you can say. So, yeah, Ultra Sabres is a pretty cool company. You know, I always have to observe all the negative reviews. I never have any problems with my Sabres, not at all. But, um, like what I've been saying, with them uh, Galicos back then because the batteries just don't hold uh they don't charge properly anymore and it's just kind of annoying to me. So I'm yeah I know it's in the back end for uh from down to down to uh a down is not uh downgrade I guess you would say. Um but for now, this is my main favor for everything. Kind of like, I feel kind of like uh, Elon McGregor when he was cast in that sub one in the video when they showed him losing his lightsaber. It kind of looked like that a little bit. Like if I were cast in the movie, I'd be back in the movie at the time. Um, so yeah. That's it for now, guys. So, see ya.